Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Be sure to check out our website at www.dailyvisionbible.co.uk. Also, please remember that you are legally free to make use of any episode of the Daily Vision Bible as you may need to. You don't even need my permission. All I personally request is that you use it to let others know the message of the Bible in a way that is pleasing to God. Today is Leviticus chapter 5 and we are continuing to look at sin offerings. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Leviticus chapter 5 If anyone sins, in that he hears the voice of testimony, he being witness, whether he has seen or known, if he doesn't report it, then he shall bear his wickedness. Or if anyone touches any unclean thing, whether it's the carcass of an unclean animal, or the carcass of unclean livestock, or the carcass of unclean creeping things, and it is hidden from him, and he is unclean, and then he shall be guilty. Or if he touches the uncleanness of man, whatever his uncleanness is with which he is unclean, and it is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty. Or if anyone swears rashly with his lips to do evil, or to do good, Whatever it is that a man might rashly utter with an oath, and that is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty of one of these. It shall be, when he is guilty of one of these, he shall confess that in which he has sinned, and he shall bring his sin offering to Yahweh, for his sin which he has sinned, a female from the flock, a lamb or a goat, for sin offering, and the priest shall make a reconciliation for him concerning his sin. If he cannot afford a lamb, then he shall bring his sin offering for that in which he has sinned, two dirtle doves or two young pigeons to Yahweh, one for sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. He shall bring them to the priest, he shall first offer the one which is for the sin offering, and wring off its head from its neck, but shall not sever it completely. He shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. He shall offer the second for a burnt offering, according to the practice, and the priest shall make a reconciliation for him, concerning his sin, which he has sinned, and he shall be forgiven. But if he can't afford two dirtle doves, or two young pigeons, then he shall bring his offering for that in which he has sinned, one tenth for an ephah, or fine flour, for a sin offering. He shall put no oil on it, and he shall not put any frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering. He shall bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take his handful of it as a memorial portion, and burn it on the altar, and the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. It is a sin offering. The priest shall make a reconciliation for him, concerning his sin that he has sinned in any of these things, and he will be forgiven. And the rest shall be the priest as the meal offering. He always spoke to Moses, saying, If anyone commits a sin, and sins unwittingly, in the holy things of Yahweh, then he shall bring his sin offering to Yahweh, or am without defect from the flock, according to your estimation in silver by shekels, and the shekel of the sanctuary for a sin offering. He shall make restitution, for which he has done wrong in the holy thing, and shall add a fifth part to it, and give it to the priest. And the priest shall make a reconciliation for him, the ram of the sin offering, and he will be forgiven. If anyone sins, and does any of the things that Yahweh has commanded not to be done, though he didn't know it, yet he is guilty, and shall bear his wickedness, he shall bring a ram without defect from the flock, according to your estimation, for a sin offering to the priest, and the priest shall make a reconciliation for him, concerning the thing in which he sinned, and didn't know it, and he will be forgiven. It is a sin offering. He is certainly guilty before Yahweh.